さつきは所詮生命繊維を着る器ではなかったということだ。Hey, s a d u d e s Welcome back to another episode of NAFGO How To. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at FGO's resident Yandere parental incest propagator, Minamoto no Yorimitsu. But most of you know her as Raiko, and that's a lot easier to remember and say, so let's just stick with that. Raiko is a five star berserker who debuted with the Onigashima event, who, even in JP FGO, is the only SSR berserker with an AoE MP. Probably because DW is too scared to release another AoE 5 star Berserker because they might be too broken. Well, in DW's defense, Raiko is pretty fucking strong, and we're about to find out why. Mom is 13,500 HP and 11,556 attack at level 90, and 14,790 HP and 12,650 attack when fully grailed. She's got very slightly lower than average star weight and star gen stats for a berserker, though that doesn't really mean much on its own. A 0.46% MP charge attack, 5% MP charge defense, death rate 39%, and she's chaotic good, which debatably has nothing to do with her ability to be a parent. She's got a 2A 2B deck with a Buster NP. Her quick card hits three times, her arts cards hit four times, her Buster cards hit once, and her extra attack hits five times. So, just at first glance, it looks like Raiko doesn't have a lot going for her at first. Her HP isn't really what you're used to seeing out of、uh, SSR servants, and since she's a Berserker on top of that, she more or less only has half that anyway. Her attack rating is pretty good, actually, especially after you take her 1.1x Zerk attack mod into account, but she's She's only got two Buster cards in her deck, unlike the typical triple Buster card decks that most Zerkers have, so her damage output isn't as high as it could be. She's also got the Lancelot problem of having a really bad MP charge gain stat, and hers is even worse than Lancelot's, mind you, being more comparable to Vlad's MP gain stat. And just like her arch nemesis Shuten, she's also got quite a few important traits that make her very prone to some really bad stuff, the two most important of which are Divine and Writing. Remember that there's another Japanese servant out there who happens to be super effective against people with either divine or writing, and in Raiko's case, she's both. But we're only scratching the surface here, and don't start thinking that I'm turning this video into a mama bullying session, which I'm not, by the way. We've already done enough of that during the event. Take care of your parents, kids, even if they do have more than just a few screws loose. Kaotit's first skill is Eternal Arms Mastership A, which increases her own star weight for 3 turns by 3,000 to 6,000 percent on a 7 to 5 turn cooldown. Note that this is the exact same skill that both Lancelots have. Lancelot and Raiko ship confirmed? This skill is to help Raiko collect crit stars for herself and then double her damage output, obviously, but the less obvious thing that this skill does is boost Raiko's MP gain considerably. A 0.46% MP charge gain on attack isn't good by itself. But, say if Raiko were to score an Arts Crit third in a command card chain, especially if she had another Arts card to lead off, whether it be hers or someone else's, and suddenly you're looking at a Berserker who can potentially get her MP up really fast. You could even say lightning fast. Boo this man! No! So, for that reason, Raiko having a near automata deck is actually a good fit on her because while she does trade her third Buster card for an extra Arts card instead, with this skill she can recover that lost damage and then some by getting her MP faster in exchange. In addition, a convenient thing about this skill is that even at level 1, it's still really strong. Take Raiko's star weight at 9. At level 1, Eternal Arms Mastership has a 3000% boost, so multiply 9 by 30 and you get 270. At least I hope this is how、uh, star weight works, otherwise, I'm just going to be sitting here talking out of my ass again. For comparison, Riders, the class with the highest star weight by default, average around a 200 star weight, so even at level 1, Raiko will pull in more stars for herself when she's teamed with other servants who aren't archers or riders, and she'll still pull in a good bit for herself. When she is. But leveling this skill becomes important when you're putting her with other servants who have crit star weight skills of their own, and maybe archers or riders themselves, to ensure that Raiko can get the crit stars when she really needs them. Again, just because you can leave a skill at level 1 doesn't mean you should. 
Plus, it looks pathetic on your support list. Her second skill is Mana Burst Lightning A, which increases her own buster performance by 20 to 30%, and gives herself evasion for one turn on an 8 to 6 turn cooldown. Again, Raiko has the Jack or the Jolter problem of having her Mana Burst tied to her Survival skill, which, in her case, is an evasion effect, so I guess that would make it more of a uh, Jack problem. And suddenly, this just made a whole lot more sense. It's too bad that Raikou can't have something like Jolter's skill that lets her have a full 50% mana burst. Maybe the devs thought it'd be too strong on her or something. That's okay, though. We have a way to fix that, and he's coming in six months. Her third skill is Mystery Killer A, which increases her own damage against demonic enemies for three turns, and against enemy servants who have the Earth or Sky attribute, again for three turns, both by 30 to 50% on an 8 to 6 turn cooldown. This is Raikou's special damage mod in the same vein as Nobu's anti divine and anti riding niche. Raikou is super effective against anyone or anything that has either the demonic trait or the earth or sky attribute. And against these four, which includes herself by the way, she's hyper effective because they all have both demonic and Earth or Sky. But keep in mind that this skill excludes Demi Servants and Pseudo Servants, which basically means that MASH and anybody who looks like they've been shoved into the game from another Fate show, who weren't normally Servants before, are exempt from getting their asses handed to them by Raiko using this skill. Even with that in mind though, this skill makes Raiko an absolute monster against a surprising number of enemies in the game, whether it be Servants or non-Servants, and it amplifies Raiko's reputation as being a farming machine all that much more, as if being the only 5-star Berserker with an AoE MP weren't enough. For her passives, she's got Magic Resistance D, which increases her debuff resistance by 12.5%, Man Enhancement EX, which increases her buzzer performance by 12%, Riding A+, which increases her own quick card performance by 11%, and Divinity C, which increases her own damage by 150 Magic Resistance is actually pretty important in Raikou's case because it makes her one of the two Berserkers in the game to have some sort of innate resistance against debuffs when most Berserkers don't. Coincidentally though, Lancelot is the only other Berserker who has Magic Resistance, probably because of his original nature as a knight. The ship continues! By the way, Man Enhancement also finally gets its proper use here on Raikou, who can bust her Brave Chain, unlike Vlad. You should have probably noticed by now that Raikou's entire skill set is focused on boosting her damage in some way, and this is what makes Raikou such a goddamn monster. Ideally, Berserkers should get skills that either buff their damage by a lot, or help them survive a lot, the latter of which is the case with Herc, and we know where he sits on the tier list. Raikou gets the damage side of the spectrum, but with a little bit of survivability in her mana burst evade, and you can see just how immense her damage potential is when things go her way. Raikou's skill set is what any berserker who wants to be top tier in damage should aspire to get, but I guess that's up to DW to decide. <laughs> Stacy's mom's MP is Go Shorai Temmo Kaikai, which is an AoE buster MP that deals 300 to 500 percent damage depending on MP level, and increases her own crit star gen rate by 100 to 300 percent for one turn, which activates before she lets her MP rip. There are two things that I want to say about her MP. The first thing is that Raiko has the exact same gimmick with her MP that Iskander has, but it's executed differently. While Iskander has the crit star gen buff tied to his third skill, for mom she has it tied to her MP as its overcharge effect. Raikou's star gen buff causes her MP to generate around 20 to 25 crit stars, and you can probably notice a pattern here if you compare her MP with Drake's and Iskander's. And thanks to Raikou's 5 hit extra attack, if you brave chain with her MP leading off, Raikou can very well give you full crit stars to play with in the next turn. So this makes Raikou another burst star gen, but this is especially important on her because, as a berserker, if she gets her cards on the next turn with all the stars that she's generated, she can absolutely tear the enemy team apart when she pops Eternal Arms Mastership, again, similar to what Lancelot does. And if she did generate 50 stars with her Braid Chain, she doesn't even need her first skill anyway. Throw her arts cards in if she's gotten back up again, and watch her manually refund her own MP to have at it again. The second thing that I wanted to say, which is something that I've been repeatedly mentioning throughout the video already, is that she's the only SSR Berserker in FGO, even in JP, who's got an AoE MP. It's like giving Fran a bigger rack, replacing her first skill with one that doesn't suck cock, and putting her in some spandex that looks like it's been dunked in oil. A lot of oil. She can keep the wedding veil, though. 
We've yet to see another SSR Berserker with an AOMP like her, so for now and for the foreseeable future, Raikou is the farming queen of FGO. If you happen to have a lot of whale friends on your friends list, I hope you like Raikou cause she's all you'll see on that Zerk slot from now on. By far Uji's grandmother's biggest utility that isn't one of those two abnormally huge pieces of chest armor that she's got is a farmer. Because let's be honest here, what we have on our hands is an SSR Berserker who's got an AoE MP and with skills that make her super effective against a lot of enemies in this game. You don't really get much better than that from a farming perspective. So stick that case scope on her and watch her shock a bitch. But let's say that you don't just want to use her for farming, and you want to take her along to all your story fights and boss fights if she's an option. Then it's really simple here too, make her a crit zerk. For the reasons I mentioned before in the video, mom is just too good not to be used as a crit zerker. So find a way to generate stars consistently for Raiko so that she can be a crit damage pump and wreck shop, preferably with a button next to you that says easy game, easy life, every time you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Strangely, as I found out more on accident than anything, during the first raid boss stage of Onigashima, you can actually use Raiko as an arts team damage pump thanks to her two arts card deck. While Vlad is still probably a more efficient choice for an arts zerker, obviously, Raiko herself isn't all that bad either, though it's more for the memes if I'm gonna be totally honest. Still fun though. Usually I don't specifically recommend Mystic Coats, but in Raiko's case, Anniversary Blonde is pretty much the perfect MC for you to use with her since all three skills she can use to a great extent. If you've got a team who can take care of buffs and star gen for her though, I recommend sticking with the default Mystic Coat since it's got a heal and an evade in case your Raiko needs it in an emergency. <laughs> For the crit zerk route, give Mama Bear best daughter roof for maximum mom and daughter memes, though Helena and Altera might have something to say about that. If you don't have Jack, then other assassins who can generate stars are great too. Carrie has a bit of synergy with her since he's got a targetable taunt that can draw attention away from Raiko to keep her alive, or to taunt her when she's got her evade up so that enemies can feed her free MP charge. Remember that most Zerks have 5% MP charge gain on defense, which is a lot, especially if the enemies have multi-hitting attacks. Shuten is also, ironically enough, a good teammate for Mom too, since she's got a charisma and a party-wide defense debuff, that also has a chance to charm all enemies, indirectly keeping Raikou safe too. The fact that they both have two arts cards, and could make up a bootleg arts team, is pretty nice too. No wonder they show up together in Shimosa. Or have Kotaro tag along too, since he's that 3-star assassin who you probably rolled along with her. He's the 3-star version of Jack and has a targetable evade, just like his mom. His real mom, not Raikou, and has an attack and crit chance debuff, which again, indirectly keeps Raikou alive. If you don't want to run Raiko as a crit zerk, then give her teammates who can keep her healed and provide defensive measures for her since her biggest weakness, as is most berserkers, is survivability. On Raiko, I'd say that it's not as important to give her attack buffs because her whole skill set gives her plenty of damage buffs on its own. So focus on keeping her alive instead since she's a berserker, since her only survival tool is her evade. And that can be a bit iffy at times since it's tied to her mana burst, again the same problem that Jalter and Jack have. Healers, defensive buffers, and attack debuffers, or servants with stall skills like charm or stun or anything of that nature, are all good kids and should watch out if Raikou's planning to make them her own. Also remember to focus your Mystic Code skills on her too if she's the center point of your team. Like I mentioned earlier, the default MC and Annie Blonde are the best for her, but Atlas isn't bad either in case you're putting Raikou into a situation where she's getting a lot of debuffs and you want to get her skills back more quickly. And the arts meme that I mentioned before is surprisingly good with her too. Tamabe can keep Raiko healed and improve her MP gen, which is the most important aspect of Fox's wedding in this case, while Waver can stall with his MP and give Raiko MP charge and the usual buffs that he gives to everyone because he's a man slut. So let's just get this out of the way, Elzio or Victor. You know why they're good, use them if you got them. If you want to maximize crit memes, take any of the crit CEs like Atumbra, Gudao, and the others since that's the one thing as a crit zerk that she doesn't have, a crit damage buff. Though avoid Knight's Pride in this case, cause 
that defense to merit is a little bit too much for a berserker like mom. And also avoid the crit star weights ease too. Typically their effects aren't enough for a berserker to get much use out of them. They need something like eternal arms mastership to help them effectively collect crit stars. And Raiko has it already, so fuck it. NP damage CEs are also pretty nice on her too. And normally I'm a bit iffy on suggesting NP damage CEs on AoE MPs, but in Raiko's case it's justified for the reasons we mentioned earlier. Heaven's Feel, Halloween Princess, Noisy Obsession if you have it, hell, even Scorch Ritter since it's a Zerker exclusive CE. Some alternatives can be Go West for some bootleg star gen, and the three heroes, if you have that from the previous event. And avoid Black Grail unless you know you can keep Raikou topped off on HP, for reasons that should be obvious. If you're looking for more defensive options, unfortunately for now, Volume is pretty much your only bet. Raikou won't get much use out of things like Naked Kirei, since as a Berserker, even with defense buffs, she'll still get hit pretty hard, unless she's got like double waiver defense buffs on her or something. So for Berserkers like her, it's better better to prevent damage rather than mitigate it, and that's exactly what Volumen does. Her own max bond CE, Dojigiri Yasutsuna, increases party buster performance and crit damage by 10%, which is great on her if she's got teammates who are also buster crit memes like she is. But I'd recommend going for other CEs to be honest, because usually you're building around Raikou in a team, unless you're out going farming with her that is, so it's not like her teammates will really make much use out of her own bond CE. And even if you aren't, Raikou really doesn't have any other support capabilities either, well, unless you count her burst star gen, so bringing her max bond CE into a fight just doesn't really add up. TLDR, use Victor. Buster memes lol. Oh, and of course, before I forget, K-Scope or any other CE that has starting MP charge like Sumo for farming. But you knew that already. Sarah Connor is the most flexible berserker in NAFGO, and probably in more ways than one, with her massive damage output via her NP and big booty crits, cause we all know Raita sure loves to draw him tits and ass. For crying out loud, you can even put her into arts teams if you really wanted to. Make sure to keep her healed, protect her with evades and invuls if you can, because no matter how much you might not like Raiko's design, if you let mom cry, you're actually an asshole, and a shame for to spray to your family! Though if she starts going yandere over you, you might want to run. You ever wonder why she's got Madness Enhancement EX? You're about to find out, kiddo! Sorry, Golden, you're our next sacrifice! And that's all you need to know about Busujima Sayako. Hey, if they can get Raita to do some FGO work, why not just go all the way and, you know, hire Sato Shoji to do some do? The next video is going to be on whoever I pull from the anniversary gacha, and since I'm Team Cavalry, I'll probably pull there unless something changes my mind. If I end up pulling someone I've already made a video for, I'll just make the next vid on whoever I want because fuck it. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, deuces. <laughs>